Racing under the lights is one of the things the fans find so exciting about Supercross. A unique and expansive racetrack like the one at Atlanta Motor Speedway requires a combination of permanent and portable lighting that has to be powerful and precise. Since 1976, Musco has been focused on the design and manufacturing of sports lighting systems. Our scope of work can go anywhere from little league ball fields all the way to professional sports venues. We light up big shipping ports, airports, Statue of Liberty, Mount Rushmore, even the White House. With Supercross, we've been lighting the Las Vegas event and the Daytona event for over a decade. We are already pretty familiar with Atlanta Motor Speedway. We have existing fixtures there that we use to light up the NASCAR race. Sales will give us some kind of auto CAD drawing. It'll show the layout, the plans for the track, and then we're able to put that in our Musco lighting software, point the lights, select which fixtures we use, and analyze that area that we need, need to deliver light to. We're going to utilize 160 of our existing fixtures, and those are each 1,500 watt fixtures. We are also going to use five of our Musco mobile trucks, and each one of those mobile trucks has 15 6,000 watt fixtures. In comparison, your household light bulb is a 60 watt light bulb. So in total, one of those trucks in terms of electricity is about 1500 household light bulbs and there are five trucks which would be equivalent electrically to 7500 household light bulbs i grew up in iowa so we there's you know fairgrounds so we would do them in horse arenas and parts of the track are pretty dark there's definitely a science to where the lights are placed on the track and how they're aimed you want to make sure that there's enough light that there's no shadows in the landing area so the riders can see and be able to land safely depth perception is is already hard enough, so if you do have off-light, right, or lighting that's not ideal, it gets harder and harder to calculate those jumps and those distances, so having the light consistent is huge for a Supercross racer. 